It was Germany 1, right? Uh, that we were playing on. I believe. There we go. So, um, yeah, that was a, an interesting first set there. Yes, definitely. From both teams. Um, well, BOH seemed to have it, but FP just pulled back. Yeah, they pulled it back and uh, showing that this match might be a really interesting one, just like our previous previous one. Although I have to say that um, like all rounds were pretty convincingly, um, I believe. Like... Well, no, the, the, like one, like the one where they fought for the um, for the judge flag was pretty close. In the end, it was, it was four and four. Yeah, four and four, but they they managed to keep the four people alive. So, true, like, true, it, it yeah. wasn't a one v one v two or one v one. So, yeah. Like, like sometimes that's it, it was it was the effect. most close one, I think. But the other rounds, for example, the what, rounds B O H one, like the first one, they had like seven people alive or something. Yeah. The last one they had still five people alive, like all of them were lit up, but like you still have five people alive. So, um, yeah, I have to say, um, it's it's a really really uh, strong performance from both teams here. But Boh taking the uh, the early advantage. Um, but no, it isn't isn't uh, FP. Wait. No, no, it was BOH taking uh, oh, the last okay, one, so okay. it's uh, it's three yeah, two yeah, for yeah. um yeah, you're right, you're right for BOH. Um, they played on Vega's side, um, so now they're gonna be playing on Nords. Um, I have the feeling that um, like Vega's, especially for the archers from BOH, like Arrowhag and um, who was the other one? Uh, Barisha. Um, like. Vagar arches are superior, so maybe they uh, they will have a more yes. difficult time on on Nords. And, and I have to say, been, the yeah. the calf from from Fallen Pride also um, played a bit better, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, we're going live into the second set. I uh, have to swap sides real quick. Um, so yeah, it's three two for Boh and. It seems like both teams are pushing the normal normal places, FP and Bunker, BOH taking the town center. And actually FP having the flag on their side in, in the open area. BOH is gonna push to Bunker, so um, as you can see Hursty um, playing Archer instead of Kev this time. So FP playing with three archers. That's the the three archer meta <laughs> on the on the Vega side on this map. Yeah, well they have. Well I know that Margin Store is a very good archer, um, but I I haven't seen Hursty or Vesti. Yeah, I haven't seen Hursty or Vesti archer yet. So yeah. let's see how it turns out for them. Um, Hursty is gonna get pressured by uh, Boh Cav here, as yes. um. Also interesting to see that uh, BOH is just playing with two two ends as well on the uh, north side. They're not switching up. Hursty's staying Hursty. alive though. Okay, fighting a... for his life. But yeah. Energy to survive there. Ooh, and that oh. was very close. Yeah, Griffin actually taking a lot of damage there. As uh, oh, and he loses horse and his life by Classy. So that's first kill for. FP, but in the meantime, as you can see, the fight is going on here between BOH and F, uh, FP and uh, on the high ground, I should say. Kills going both ways as uh, FP is actually getting quite some kills. Unfortunate team kill there from Barisha onto yeah. Alwyn, making and it a 7v4 at the this. moment. Make that a 6v4 as uh, it's still everyone's game right now. Yeah, I will have his free shooting there. It's a Nice shot from Vesta. He's doing a great job as an archer though. Uh, previous set as well. It's only Mikalir and uh, Barisha, but everything's still to play for since the flag hasn't been raised yet, but Mikalir losing his life. And uh, Barisha also no HP. Manages to stay alive a little bit longer. 
Yo, H really overcommitted on that archer there. Yeah. Um... No, they, they didn't actually overcommit because, like, they had their cap there, that mm -hmm. was fine, but they should have killed him. Yeah, that, just that... not getting the kill there, I think, was their yes. problem. Um... Percy was really low, but he managed to stay alive, uh, alive like, a, like a true warrior. And... On the other end, um, FP won that inf engagement there on the on the high ground. Um, so, props to them for uh, for keeping uh, keeping that one or winning that one. And then, unfortunately, the uh, the team kill from Barisha not really helping out his uh, his team at all. Um, FP seem to have uh, quite a lot of shields here at spawn. <laughs> So uh, yeah. if I, if anyone hey. needs a shield, just go to FP Span and uh, he will get a, a free shield. Uh, they actually have one, two, three, four, five, six S shields. Six, six remaining shields. Um, seemed that a lot of people picked up some shields, but um, better better to have many shields than little. Indeed, uh, I agree a hundred percent with that one. Um, in the meantime, flag spans in the uh, town, so BOH is gonna start pushing from church. Actually, and that are they looks gonna? Like a nice push. That looks like yeah, a nice that's push. a really interesting push. You don't see this one too often. Um, really pressuring down so uh, FP again, here. Fighting to stay alive there. Oh, yeah, oh nice, right. nice skills here from both teams going around as. Uh, Simon doing a lot of work here, penetrating as well, for, uh, but he gets stomped, he managed to stay alive though, penetrator doing a great job here, getting helped out by Hikef and Archers now, Barisha oh, with a Barisha. headshot, Simon with a double Archers. kill, and BOH seem to be uh, getting out of this fight with 5 people against 1 of FP, so uh, seems to be a clear victory for BOH, they just need to play it out. Safely, and it shouldn't be a problem since Trent's horse is gonna be dying in a second. Looks so confident. Yeah, oh, and Borussia doesn't take down yeah. the horse, but Trent. He looks so confident. Mhm. Mm that was uh, that was definitely a, a nice push from B O H. Um, especially props to the Inf to staying alive there, because uh, Classy, um, one of the uh, F P's calf. Tried and kill uh, penetrator there, but not being able to finish him off. Like Simon was in a safe spot more or less, like fighting under that um, like uh, house uh, cover thing. I don't know how to say it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, fighting down there, um, he managed to uh, like be a pretty safe spot. But penetrator not dying there, I think, was huge. Gave yeah. Simon the opportunity to get the kills. I and actually don't know how to call that thing. Yeah, me neither. Uh, I, I know. Oh, oh nice kill from Jacko. Slant. That's one of the archers, Dan. And um, as you can see, it was a bit of a weird um, stalemate there since FP was uh, pushed out in the open. But uh, they don't seem to to be mind that much about it, though. A, a nice I'll shot from Barisha and Bug. They're also coming in. Jacko with his second kill, FP Best fighting team. back, making it 6v4 at the moment, made it a 6v3, a 6v2, <laughs> uh, as uh, Barisha trying his best to uh, to clutch this forth. one, but this is uh, this is gonna be uh, a hell of a said, tough move. Nice shot from Jacko. As you said, these rounds oh. are all close. Uh, not close, they are all... Yeah, they're, uh, they're, really, they're quite really decisive, decisive when you look at, at men count, but Barisha can, can try and make this one as close as possible, but uh, yeah, it's going to be a difficult one. And now he's cornered in, and Vesta is going to take the kill there. Putting Fallen Pride back to 4-4 four, four in the total uh, score of things, but this set isn't just over yet, so... We'll have to see. Uh... Yes, it's it's really close. It's a really close match again. Yeah, it's um, it's it's less, less close in rounds. I would say, um, like the the rounds itself, like you yeah, have always a, a quite close. decisive victor. But um, yeah. other but than overall, that, the, the match itself is really yeah. close. Yeah, yeah, the overall straw is really close. 
So uh, it seems that both teams are gonna push for for church again. Like FP really spread out though. Um, if if BOH can capitalize on this, um, it would be devastating. I I think, but they're, they're not. Um, they're spread out themselves as well. <laughs> I think both teams. Yes. 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 But now there's kind of a standoff at the church here, and mm -hmm. I think BOH is pushing in. Yeah, they are pushing in. But um, they need to be able to to get this one as Simon is getting lit up and killed off there by Saxio. Uh, Elwyn with a, a traitor onto Hursty. Kills going everywhere. As Penetrator dies as well. So that's the North Infantry dealt with. Barisha in a really bad spot. Classy with a double kill. Seems like FP have this one. Uh, Ready as uh, only Arrowhack and BOH's calf stays alive. I didn't, nice I didn't shot get there. Push. Arrow, ooh, BOH starting to uh, turn things around too. But they're all really low on health, as you can see. Yeah. As uh, Arrowhack trying to get in a good position there, but it's they're gonna be difficult. Nice kill from Boglier though. Still 3v4 at the moment. Festa oh, with a Bessie. kill. Really close, close round this one. As uh, Bogler and Mikulir definitely can clutch this, but they don't have a lot of HP left as Bogler loses Pink his horse. Mikulir with a nice kill, but he's so low health. It will be almost impossible to win this one with 50 seconds on the board. As you can see, Vest is taking some equipment, but it's not needed as Trent finishes off Mikulir. And FP actually taking the second set and the map as well, making it 5-4. So, um, great job from FP here, closing it out, which was a, a really, I think the last round was the closest w closest round we've seen so far, with uh, BOH fighting back after losing that first engagement. Yeah. But um, Fallen Pride not losing it out, um, and uh, claiming the first map, which is... Um, which is a, an advantage that um, last time, like previous match, we saw that uh, Black Eagles also take uh, took the first map, and they managed to um, pull it out on the on the second map as well. Um, so we'll have to see if FP will be able to um, keep this one. Up. Like I, I, again, I don't really know how this one is gonna gonna pan out. I think it will be again a really close yeah. map. I have, I have no idea either. It's since really close. Since I uh, like both infantries have played really well on the previous map, um, so I don't know how this one yeah. will go. But uh, I, I think um, the BOH infantry being like I just I could just see Simon and Penetrator obviously, mm -hmm. but they were doing a lot of work for them. Yeah, definitely. Especially but, Simon. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand. Um, like with the arches and the calf, um, you can get that yeah. extra edge. Yeah. We'll just have to see how it goes because I have no prediction for this. I think both teams will like setup wise play uh pretty like normal two yeah, arches, two calf. I don't think we're gonna maybe, see Yeah, maybe one team goes for one one crossbow and road arts. Yeah, and take right. the extra inf. Uh yeah, that could happen. Mm -hmm. Um, but they they both have good archers, so maybe they're not going for that. De definitely. Maybe they don't want to sacrifice that archer. Um, yeah, I I'm, I fully agree with you. Like we might see one one crossbowman, although I, my my gut tells me that both teams are gonna gonna play it normal, um, and they're not gonna gonna pull extra. I don't. I don't see anyone pulling out a cleaver <laughs> uh, in this match. Although you never know. You never know. Maybe they've watched yeah. the previous map. Uh, uh, the match. Yeah. Sorry. And maybe we, we can still see some body action. Or yeah. They they, they saw Slapper and they were like, I I yeah. want to be remembered like Slapper. <laughs> Slapper man of the day, man of the match. Yeah, definitely. Versus, like ev uh, even uh, even even Ben Gear Squad lost it. Like Slapper yeah. MVP, a hundred percent. Although. That that hexa kill from Prince last round, even though it was last round, I have to say a hexa kill, seven kills. 
I think it was yeah. Seth who killed Foot. Um, was it the Hex? Or was it Hepta kill? I think it was Hepta, Hepta kill. Yeah, it was Hepta, Hepta kill. kill. I'm saying Hexa, but it was Hepta kill. So seven kills. Um, almost a perfect ace. So I have to say that that deserves some mention as well. Um, oh yeah, we also have uh, Rome as a referee now. So that's that's great. Rome, big shout out. Doing massive work this tournament. Um, Refing so many matches and helping out so much. It's great. So we're gonna put up the score. So it's 5 4 for Fallen Pride right now. After the first map. Uh, oh, he crashed. Do we? It's not live. We're gonna have a reason. It's uh, just at the start of this, this round. We're not even. Uh, we weren't even 15 seconds in, so. Yeah. Um, so yeah, as as we can look at the setup right now, it seems that FP is actually gonna go for one archer and five inf. I think uh, if I saw it correctly, I, I didn't really yeah saw too much there. But um, I don't think it's a bad choice. I don't think it's a bad. Oh choice. no, never so mind. Uh, they're playing two crossbowmen. Uh, Vesta is oh, okay. playing crossbowmen. Yeah. Well, he was I, don't, well I, thought, I thought I saw map. five in. Maybe they're playing one calf. Yeah, they're playing one they calf. Playing so one they're calf. still playing five in. Uh, okay, we might have a uh, another re <laughs> since uh, Strand uh, m messed it up. Maybe he's supposed to go in without any uh, any calf. But that would be quite surprising. Uh, no, Strand is gonna go calf. Probably messed up his uh, his chaff uh, chaff. His uh, skimmy drops. Um, but yeah, we see a standard lineup on BOH side of things. Um, I have to swap them around. Sorry. So banners are a little bit um, wrong, but next round that will be fine. Uh, we see the normal um, setup from both, oh, like um, places from both teams. FB taking the the alley. And uh, BOH uh, gonna be a bit more out in the open. And Flex Buns in the open as well. Um, Errol Hag doesn't seem to really know where he wants to be playing right now. He's playing in the arc way. But he's gonna go up to the stairs. Yeah, he's gonna find his place. Actually, really Alicia interesting. also um, on the spawn. Behind, behind his infantry. Yeah, just playing behind the stone wall there. Yeah, he might actually go for a flank. Oh, he's, yeah, he's, yeah he's going for no, a flank. That's going to be a really nice flank because he can get a shot yeah. onto Megan's store. He needs to get the headshot though. But Megan's store oh, is just Magan's aware of it. Is, That's just yeah. unfortunate for Barisha. If he was a little bit faster, he could have gotten the kill there or at least a hit. In. And he actually now uh, fighting Megan's store. Strand not e able to uh, to help him out there, but the BOH Cav is, is ready to help Barisha down there. and. Actually, it's Megan's turn now, running for his life, but he managed to stay alive and only take a slight bit of damage. So, um, I have to say, uh, Pewitch should have maybe capitalized on that one. Um, if they acted a little, little bit faster, but on the other hand, the infight is gonna start going down here in the center. Do you see what Bestie is doing? Oh, Bug, you're ah. getting uh, stopped and punished off there. FP with the kills. Coming in as a uh, oh, nice kill from really Mikalir though yeah. onto Maganstor. Barisha with a nice sh shot. He didn't get the kill, but he got a shot in there. And there he gets a kill. BOH turning it around into a 5v4 at the moment. Made that a 4v4. As Simon staying alive there in that uh, corner. Great job for him. And staying alive there. And it's just gonna go down. Oh, nice one from Classy. A uh, fortunate oh, team kill there from Hursty. Strand helping him, his friend out to but Barisha still alive. Only 20 seconds on the board. Nobody on the flag. Griffin is gonna go for the flag now, and Boy, BOH will just, just win this on flag because there. Hursty won't be able to kill both of them in 10 seconds. You will need to push a, a big clutch to win this one Stay out. Alive. And uh. BOH wins this one. That was <laughs> that was a I, hell of a round. I think that flight wasn't high enough. I think he could have just stayed alive. Maybe, but it's it's a risk though. Like in that I, I think the team kill from Hursty just just gave them the like 
the gave BUH the the advantage there, and um, yeah, they just they were first. I, I don't know if the flag would have counted, but I wouldn't be surprised if it would have. So again, but he had no health as well. So like, I I would also went for the kills there with yeah, ten yeah. seconds on the board, like you. I I would have probably tried tried to stay alive. Yeah. I don't I don't know like I, I think they would have had it on flag like even if it was like one second I think it was gonna be a close one But was good round from both You know, HK mod on top just slightly mm -hmm. BH now uh, actually having position oh, nice shot, shot from Barisha. I think he was at the stone wall again Um, No, where? Where was Parish? Oh, he was on the ladder. On the uh, yeah, on the ladder. Yeah. On the back ladder there. Oh, he <coughs> stopped <coughs> and killed. Messi killing. Double oh, kill for kill penetrator Messi. there. Buh stepping ah, arrow hack with a nice headshot as well. These fights are so close. Yeah, it's a it's a five v four now with everyone still full HP, but the flag is definitely in favor of Buh. So. FP trying to choose to rotate around, but I don't feel this is the right decision. As they're just giving uh, BUH some more flag now, as Griffin is just gonna stay <laughs> on that flag. And they and they put down the ladder again. Yeah, so Oof. FP completely losing this one right now, as the flag is almost raised. Yeah, they just need to stand on the flag for now, oh, because they, otherwise they, they lose it. Yet, they can still win it. Yeah, yeah, but the flag is really high up. Like, if they just forget about the flag for literally 5 seconds, BOH can win this one. So they will have to be careful. Oh. Yeah. This is Tabby going thing, down though. for yeah. FP. Hursty, nice Hursty kill from Hursty though. Taking a lot of damage. Classy, Classy with a kill as well. But the flag though, the flag is still in favor of BOH. Still 30 seconds to play though. Her nice kill from Hursty. Hursty. Arrow hack taking a shield though. Both of them are really low. Arrowhack knows he just needs to stay alive. And it seems like they're actually gonna get the kill on Arrowhack. Although he's just oh, There he goes, but the flag, 13 seconds. Barisha just needs to stay alive. He's actually playing really aggressively, but he gets the kick in. Strand knows he needs to die. And they just get it in the last second. That was actually a really close one. Um, I don't know why Hursty wasn't following and Strand weren't directly going for the kill since they would have never had the time to get the flag even. So um, a little bit of a, a scramble there but Fallen Pride taking the round there. After I would have uh, given the victory indeed to BOH but <laughs> you can see that uh, everything can still happen. So, um, BOH actually taking down the alley from, uh, or taking over the alley from FP. They're just not gonna, gonna push them and flag is gonna spawn in the open. So, BOH uh, won't be getting any advantage of, uh, of the flag there. Although they, um, they are gonna start pushing now. FP seem to fall back because I think they want to uh, set up their arches. Uh, they're actually gonna push on Barisha. Um, it will be a really, really close one uh, because Barisha is just gonna back away. And first oh, kill from Magenstar onto Federals, though. It's a beautiful shot there. As uh, Hersey on his own is gonna push off Barisha a little bit, but Mikalir is here to help him out. Hersey is gonna be. In a Vesti also free shooting. Nobody, and he's taking down Baublia. And oh, Vesta ha with a, another Baublia. headshot. The archers of wow. FP doing work here. Yeah, totally. Giving them a two man advantage right now. As uh, FP is now gonna put the pressure on. Careful, need to come in. Saxio with a nice kill onto Errol Hack. Simon going down as well. FP seem to have found some confidence as there's another team kill, but it doesn't seem to matter since it's a 7v2 at the moment, as it's only uh, Parisha left. And, uh, FP inf just clicking, just clicking like heroes. 
Just left click and you win the game. <laughs> yes, yes, that's how you win matches. Just left click. And that's that's just beautiful played from uh, from FP. I have to say, a lot of them low health though. If you look at uh, at the end there, but they um, they still had seven people alive, so it was an almost perfect round there. And uh, I have to say, great props to uh, both Vesta and Maganstor. Giving them a, a, a two-man advantage. I think they um, they killed two imps as well from BOH. Um, as you can see, actually BOH also offering up one of their calves. I don't know if they did that last round as well already. Uh, they might have done it last round. I think they did it last round already. Not, okay. I'm not entirely sure. I'm, I'm not entirely sure either. Um, but I think I only saw one, one of their calves. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, that's. I, that's... I, th I think they did it last round, but it went unnoticed. As um. Seems like, FP has the flag in their favor, so um. They're just gonna play it safe here. Borussia trying to uh, to get a shot. SD and imagine so a nice. FP actually all their infantry <laughs> sitting in the corner. They're just body blocking uh, the way too fast at the moment. That first kill going for Jacken. Cap getting stopped, but nice kill from Mikkelir there. Killing off Sexu. As uh, Strand is getting killed as well by Barisha there. As the uh, Ooh, Barisha with the a team kill, kill though, that's unfortunate. As uh, Boglier actually stepping up and uh, getting killed for the inf, trying to evening it out a little bit. As it's a, a 3v5 at the moment, everything's still possible. As Stabby is uh, getting himself here in a, a 2v1, but he managed to stay alive so far. Hersey's trying to help him out, but he takes a lot of damage from Mikkelir here. Risha still playing with his crossbow, although he's now going to switch to uh, to his melee weapon. As uh, FP is just playing this one out, he gets Hersey though, but uh, in a nice yeah. shot from Vesta in the end there. That that uh, FP inf is playing so well. And that's actually already um, Fallen Pride can't lose this match anymore. Uh, it's eight five. I just noticed. Um, really? Oh wow! So uh, yeah, the best Boh can do is get a draw out of here. The revenge is real. Um, so yeah, they actually already got got some of that revenge, but of course they want that sweet sweet victory. Um, so, but yeah, BOH will, will need to pull a, a clear 3-0 if they wanna wanna win this match uh, or like uh, draw this match and not walk away with a with a loss there. But yeah, I just have to say, Fallen Pride stepped up after um, after the second set, which they lost. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, it was a really close one there in the in the graveyard, but uh, after that they uh, they stepped up and. The FP infant just playing really well right now. Yeah, but also we see some team kills going left and right here. Um, yep. So, and but, but as as Hersey predicted, Classy is stepping up and doing the work he's mm -hmm. uh, expected to do. Definitely. So he wasn't he wasn't wrong. He's player for them. So yeah, it's a that's a that's a good adding to the team there for uh, yes. for FP, yep. and. Um, as I as I said before, so both teams will uh, will be playing uh, to try and escape uh, um, re um, fighting uh, relegation matches against Division C. So um, yeah, if uh, BUH at the moment is on three points, Fallen Pride is on zero points. So if they would win this one, uh, would definitely put them up. Uh, I don't know how but high up they would get. Um, like we will have to check afterwards, and also, of course, what the uh, what the other teams will be will be doing. Um, but yeah, uh, we're just waiting for the last set, so Boh will have to put everything in to uh, to get this one. Yeah, and I have to least. say, 
I do feel that um, Fallen Pride will just just take this match. Not only because they have the like three round advantage right now, but also because they will be playing Rodox with their inf. And I have a feeling that uh, at the moment, yes. um, Fallen Pride's inf is is just better than uh, than Boh at the moment. Yeah. So on that on that Rodox inf, I think that will make give them but, the, the, the edge, extra edge. On the other hand, BOH has really good archers, and they're going to be able to utilize them on Vegas. Mm -hmm. And if they manage to pull off some some nice crossfires here, um, they might still they might still uh, the it. Not impossible. Mm -hmm. But uh, we're gonna go re and live for the final set. We will uh, decide if this one is gonna be a victory for Fallen Pride or a draw. So, uh, oh, uh, I messed up. Um, so it was five for BOH and it was uh, eight for Fallen Pride, indeed. So going into the last set, BOH is gonna push the alley as is Fallen Pride and BOH is actually a little bit slow here. Fallen Pride will be able to take the position in the alleyway. So great push from them. As uh, they're gonna be uh, a bit more aggressive here. As you can see, uh, BWH starting again with two cavalry though. This time on on Vegas, so they have the um, the better lands. But uh, I yeah. have a feeling that the extra in for FB um, will will be difficult to to deal with, especially uh, against the Vegas uh, weaker armor. But but flight is in favor of BOH and they have the the possibility yeah. to set up a nice They have also now. a really nice crossfire ready with arrow hack and uh yes and Barisha and there. FP seems to be pushing right into it. Um no, they, I don't they're know they're actually away. pushing no. out Barisha yes, so yes, that, that was a good, that was a good I think call. it's a, it's a good decision to push from there but BOH getting the first kill Simon onto Vesta so he was I think on a flank. Um so he got caught off guard there and just want to see where uh, Barisha. Oh, Barisha is actually at at his pounder. Mikkelir with a kill onto Strand. So that's a calf down for FP. And uh, Bogley are actually gonna do a lot of work here. So we might see uh, BOH pulling uh, this fight with their extra calf. And double kill for Saxio and Bogley at the same time. But there goes down Saxio by Arrow Hack. We also got a double kill. And it's just up to Magazinstore, which just gets killed off by Mikkelir. So. Great convincingly round from BOH here. Putting this one, yeah. it seems to be a little bit glitched. Um, there you go. Um, putting already one back on the board, so they're looking to go for this uh, this draw here. This time BOH is going to be a bit more aggressive and they're going to go for the fight apparently against this imp. So, uh, Try to back off, but this might actually... Oh, Strand losing it. his horse. No, he managed to stay and alive. Great shot for Strand there. Really aggressively. Yeah. Really, really aggressive. And I think... Oh, nice hit there onto uh, Jacko. He's getting killed off as well. This is everyone's fight right now. Just a scramble here. As BOH gets some kills on the board here. But uh, oh, Strand as well getting killed. BOH, Parisha and Penetrator. Double kill for Simon. Seems like the skimmies are doing their job right now. And uh, it's 3v5 at the moment. As Classy goes down fast on really low health. Oh, team hit there, but BOH winning once again. Five people alive. BOH are just gonna go for this. FP being really aggressive, but it's not paying off for them. Diamond with four kills uh, on the top of the leaderboard now. That's just an uh, Bogley with a nice charger here. I don't know. I, I have a bad feeling on this. FP is just yeah. going to push once again really aggressively. If I was FP, like I would I would watch out for this one because this is your last chance on, yeah. uh, on claiming should, a victory. They should push this under any circumstances because BOH's archers are, were doing a lot of work. They yeah, were not, not only their archers, their calf as well, just coming in, bumping yeah, yeah, them. Yeah. They exactly. have the extra calf and it's Bogler and Mikalir, like they're playing really well on, on Vega calf here. BOH once once again gonna have the flag here. 
FP is gonna switch it up and push from from the ladder point. Um, this might work out better for them, but they need to not lose someone in the uh, as SD early. Is getting a shot on the horse? I think it was Michelia's horse. Just arrow hack is in the great position though, so. FP is in a really bad spot in pushing this flag and BH and is Vesti just gonna... is getting pushed by Bowdly as well. Yeah, this is a really bad position for FP here. Since they don't have the flag, they will need to make a push now and Errol Hag is in a great position to deny any pressure. He's actually gonna get pushed by Jacko as uh, FP is now gonna engage on the flag as well, but we have Bogler here and he's just gonna get behind to get Oh he gets shot though. Great shots from both Maganstor and Vesta. First kill is for Mikalir though, on to Hursty. Gav coming in, double kill for Mikalir. Simon stepping up as well. Sexier trying to fight three and here, but he has no health left. And Bogler gonna come in with the kill. And team kill for oh, Simon though, kill. but if you look at FP, they have no HP left. Vesta gets a kill onto Griffin though. Magister, oh, Strand with a kill, making it a 3v3. Mikkelir bumping the, down Vesta. And uh, Simon and Mikkelir coming in to help out Barisha. Strand losing his horse. It's a really close fight, only 40 seconds left on the board though. But uh, this is gonna be a real difficult one. Just a horse bump and Magister is dead as well. And there goes Barisha uh, with a double kill. Finishing it off, making it a draw. Wow, Oof. another really close match. That was uh, not what I expected at all from this set. But a great comeback from BOH. Evening this one out, and I think this gives Hirsty, them. Hirsty Ashton for a tiebreaker. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, it ain't happening. Uh, I don't think tiebreakers happen. No. I think it's only for knockout stages. I, I'm, I don't know. I'm not sure, but um, I, I don't yeah, think. They're, they're, yeah, it's they're not an elimination, no so I think it's, it's, uh, it's not gonna. Ha I, I would love to see a dirt map though. <laughs> like <laughs> this game is, uh, is really entertaining. But um, yeah. Uh, yeah. So both teams are going in next week with one in each. How does it help them? Um, or who does I think it help? I think we will have to have to look to um to the ranking of uh, Division B. I uh, think it's 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 dis uh, disadvantageous for for both of them. Um. Yeah. I'm quickly gonna gonna yeah. check um the forum. To see how it's, I I think um, BOH since they had already three points um, might might be the better out of this engagement. Oh, um, maybe we should invite somebody from. Oh yeah, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get. Uh, maybe we can get from from both teams someone on here. Oh yeah. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, pum, pum, pum. Um, let's see, so, uh, Division B, bum, bum, bum. So it seems that, uh, actually I was wrong, Fallen Pride also got three points. My bad, uh, both of these teams had already gotten a win under their belt. I thought, um, FP didn't got a win yet, uh, but they did, so they were actually equal. So both of them, um... I think uh, since BOH got uh, a higher uh, Buchholz score, um, I think they will stay above FP, which means that FP would be in 7th place since DOF just lost today against Bor again. So DOF will be will be 8th place in Division B. So FP will actually be 7th um, place, so they will also have to face... Um, the second best team of Division C. 
So that's okay. actually a win for for BOH staying in Division B for the knockout stages. Um, so are we having an interview? Uh, I'm quickly checking. Uh, no, not from BOH. Maybe uh, from Hersey. Yeah, I asked him. He hasn't replied yet. Uh. So we'll have to see if he's up for an interview. But um, yeah, GG. Well played to both teams. Uh, yeah, Hursty, Hursty's up. Is he up for one? Okay. Um, yeah. let me send him the team speak real quick. I don't think he has it. Uh. Boom. Oh, stream is lagging a little bit again, but oh, there's Hersey, so let's get him in here. Uh, hey. Hello, Hursty. Let me quickly give you. There you go. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, we yeah. can hear you. Yeah, man. So, uh, yeah, um, I want to say congratulations on the draw, but um, <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> I think you guys will will end up in in the seventh spot due to um the Buchholz score. Um, yeah, I don't know how it works, but I guess I think so. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I just looked at at the uh, at the roster, so. I don't know how it's gonna turn out. Maybe um, one of the the admins can um, let us know how it will turn out. Um, but yeah, uh, how are you feeling, man, after uh, that match? Feeling, I think that we should have won it. Um, so we're kind of, you know, I would say devastated because I feel like even though we did no practice this week, which isn't an excuse. I mean, yeah, yeah. We, um, he was 8-5 up and we shouldn't have thrown 3 or especially Rodox Vegas, we should have had the advantage. I mean, we had our strengths and we didn't use them. Yeah, uh, our, our, yeah your info was looking really strong this match. We, uh, the, the very last set, in my opinion, we just didn't use our crossbows to the best we could. Um, the positioning of the arch with the crossbows themselves was very bad. That was partly my fault. Um, but, yeah, I, I, I'm kind of, you know, I think we should have won, but GG to BOH. Yeah, yeah, I think it was. Uh, first of all, it was a great match to to watch, uh, definitely. Um, and I, I don't think anyone expected indeed to for Buh to um, to come back. Maybe it was like uh, you guys really played aggressively on, on Rodox. Yeah, the first um, two, the first two rounds we played aggressive. Yeah, that was what we tried, but um, yeah. a little lack of communication. Uh, for example, we pushed yeah. on one round and we said we'd pull back, and people didn't pull back, and people got cut off, and just stupid things like that, little mistakes. And that's probably because we didn't do any practice matches on any of their maps. Not like I mean, we've, we've done their maps loads over the past couple of mm -hmm. months, but the fact that we know BOH have got some strong points, um, and obviously the very last set we just completely switched off. I guess. Yeah, maybe maybe it was that. Like victory was that close that it that you guys already were like let's just one round and then in the in the heck of things um BOH managed to to keep the, their calm and I, I think also in the in the first rounds on that last set they just got the early kills in um especially the first yeah. round I remember that uh, one of your crossbowmen who was on the flank I think it was Vesta. Oh yeah, yeah, we sent Vesta to flank, and, uh, and he got he got so, killed yeah. off. Um, so that was unfortunate. And then, um, then you guys pushed from, uh, like towards graveyard, I think. To to yeah, we tried to push one of the crossbows in return, and we just yeah, a call from um, my part, and it kind of went bad. It went tits up from there. So yeah, yeah. I uh, think on a yeah. Oh, sorry. Um, on on a different note though, how do you feel about like playing in Division B now, and like, uh, do you think it suits you? I think so. I mean, outside of officials, when we do scrims versus all these Division B teams, we actually beat majority of them. Yeah. Uh, not by a small margin, by a huge margin, in fact. Um, and it was the same, the first official versus BOH, we played them twice in officials, and the first official, the week before, we beat them 12-1, and then it came to the next official, and they beat us, and I just think that sometimes in the officials, we switch off, and obviously, we need to work on that, and obviously, get new teams and stuff, mm -hmm. uh, new players. But obviously, like I said, room for improvement. We've got people like Classy, who's a very good player, and Moraman's yeah. in addition to the team. Vesta is a we, very good crossbow. 
We were able to notice that he was doing a lot of work on Vadius, especially. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, but overall, the team itself, when, when we're in our A game, we're a strong team, in my opinion. Um, we can definitely stay in Division B. I think that, no offence to people in Division C, but I think that we're a lot better than them. And uh, it was showed that in the you know the relegation playoff that we should definitely be in Division B. Um, so I don't, I don't know who we'll play yet in Division yeah. C. Uh, I, I think it, it will it will depend on uh, on the match tomorrow between Senate and Dane. Um, yeah. Because one of these yeah, teams yeah. is going to, like, whoever wins or if they would get a draw, it's also possible. So um, maybe but, we get our match FP versus Senate. Uh, if we got that match, I mean, it might it might be a relegation match. That would be interesting. I mean, that would be a pointless match. We'll just twelve twelve oof, of them. So, you know, oh, pointless, uh, bold uh, words shot, coming shot out here. We, we all we all we all know Senate is basically an FPB tech. It's all the FP rejects who play for Fester, isn't it? So, yeah, Ooh. I mean, they're still salty about Gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll see. We'll see if they can get around on us this time. Okay. Now, now I really hope for that matchup. <laughs> yeah, if, if, if Senate get around and they might as well take the match, but I doubt they'll get around, so it's all good. Ooh. But yeah, actually, that that was something I, w I wanted to uh, like to point out and maybe also ask your your opinion about it because uh, y you guys started off in, in Division C, but you guys were promoted before it actually uh, actually started. Um, yeah, because so, so how do you um, like um, think yourself in Division B? Like, how how do you think it went? Um, during these four um, weeks? I, I think, um, like I said, obviously the officials' results weren't the best, but we kind of went in there expecting to come middle, middle of the table, not bottom or top. Mm -hmm. um, our first match, our official versus BE, we played really well, and then obviously we got beat by BOH, which kind of was the reason why we're in the relegation zone right now. Um, unfortunately, I didn't know about the you know the draw system. I thought it was Winterberg tiebreaker. Oh, I, was coming, you know, okay. so I, I thought personally, if it went to Winterberg, we'd have won that. But um, yeah. yeah, I think that we've done well in Division B, and we could have done better. But I think next time around, we'll stay. We'll stay in Division B for definite, hundred uh percent. -huh. Uh, and next time, we'll push for the top top two. I'd say top two, yeah. <laughs> to get but, a yeah. promotion to Division. Yeah, we'll, we'll just bounce back. And, we'll okay. Bounce back and yeah. Yeah. Two, yeah. Two. But it's still it's still an achievement for you guys because you got your re revenge at least kind of. <laughs> kind of. A, a little bit yeah. of revenge on on B O H. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose. Um, you, I mean, and well, we, we people can see that you guys are improving. Like uh, over the last, everybody could see it over the last couple of months. You guys have been getting better and. I mean, we've been, we've just been looking for players who are looking to stick around and players who aren't going to just pop in for one tournament and leave. That's what our biggest problem was. People like Carl and all of that, they joined and then left for better teams and then aren't really showing the potential anymore in them better teams because they're not really at that level yet. Um, no offence to Carl, but um, with the team we've got now is definitely a team which we'll stick with for the next couple of tournaments. Thirsty um, firing a lot of shots today. Yeah, well, I'm just that type of guy. I'm not really, but no offense to Carl, I like Carl, but yeah, it's just a point I'm trying to make. So, like, next time we play in the next division, whether it's in Division B or Division C, I mean, I'm hoping not C, but. But I think, again, there. like, if you would end up in Division C, um, I don't think, like, you guys probably might relegate up to B again. Like, I'm I, sure, yeah. I, th yeah, I think in Division yeah. C, you have a few teams which are, like, just ready to go to Division B. And. Yeah, it's like, other than that, it's it's not much of a. Like, yeah, so is it, just a quick question: Is it confirmed who's? So it's down to Dan and Senate tomorrow, yeah? Uh, no, no, not not completely. Um, because I don't like I have to check again. But um, so at the moment, uh, Senate is is top of the leaderboard. Um, right. together with Dane, both of them have nine points. They will play tomorrow against each other. Um, then Valhorner won today, I think, or yesterday. So they are up nine points as well. I don't know how many rounds they won, so they probably are somewhere. Uh, oh, actually, their Buchholz score is higher, so they might end up on top of the leaderboard at the moment. Maybe I don't know. Um, and then you also have AI versus NNN. AI won, yeah. AI beat. Oh, NNN. they they won. Yeah, AI beat them eleven. Nine, okay, so um, yeah, they also will have nine points. So. If if it would end up in a draw between Senate and and Dane, they will be the two teams, uh, going up. So that would mean that FP would fight Dane and um, DOF will fight Senate. Um, if they would draw, um, if they would w if one of these teams would win, they would of course play DOF. 
but we don't know i don't know yet who will be facing um fb right. well obviously everyone's going to be rooting for us to play senate but mm -hmm. oh sorry so... i also forgot uh lebron to rush also won they're also on on nine but points they've, so they've lost a match already right um yeah they lost one but they won three um i think oh, they okay. they won against an uh, against donor so um they're also nine so i think your possible uh, opponents are LeBron Tourage, AI, Valhoner, Dane, and Senate. I think those, right. one of those five teams will be your opponent, but we will have to wait for uh, the match tomorrow between Senate and, and Dane uh, to know I will who find will, out. We'll find out. Hopefully. We'll be facing Fallen Pride for a spot in Division B. Um... So yeah, I don't know, uh, Vincent, if you have uh, any more oh, questions I, for... No, for no further questions, Jana. <laughs> no worries. Cheers. Okay, so, um, uh, yeah. Um, good luck in uh, in the, the relegation match. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Once again, thanks for, for playing this match. It was a beautiful match. I also want to thank uh, Rome for um, refereeing uh, both matches. Um, I want to thank Vincent for joining me uh, for these uh, three thanks, hours. Thanks almost. for having me. Thanks for having me. Um, and I also want to want to thank all the admins, Scar, Irwin, and Deacon for uh, for hosting this tournament and uh, giving us such exciting matches as today. So <laughs> I'm I'm really happy about today's matches. That uh, was amazing. If any one of you missed any of the matches, make sure to rewatch them. They they were a hundred percent worth rewatching. Thanks um, to everybody watching. Yeah, thanks everyone for watching and um so yeah, I think we're gonna gonna end the stream here. So we will see you guys uh next time. Bye bye. 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 I see you later.